Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec. Today I'm going to unbox the Mercy TR Kits March 2024 release called Dream Big. This kit combines products from a few new American crafts collections including Poppy and Pear, Rainbow Avenue, and Cool Girl. It has a happy everyday vibe and the color palette is mostly on the soft pastels but there are pops of richer tones. I'm going to be showing you the main kit along with the cardstock embellishment and mixed media add-ons. There's also a pattern paper add-on which I don't have here. Also there are printable labels and digital downloads. Below there are a bunch of links to the Mercy Tierra Kits website. Instagram and Facebook group. This video is in real time so if you're not into that you can always press the mute button and gear icon to speed up this video. So let's have a look at what's in Dream Big. We're going to start with the main kit. So I just want to point out that all of the kits including the add-ons come in these giant heavy duty baggies which I save for storing projects and collections and all of that kind of stuff. The first thing I'm going to show you here is the 12 pattern papers. Now there are a bunch of embellishments here. There are four embellishment packs with some other bits and bobs. I'll go through that a little bit later but we are going to start with the papers because that's what inspires me the most. The first two are from the Cool Girl collection from Pebbles. So this one is like a rainbow print and they almost look like watercolor painted lines. Very pretty, very bright, vibrant colors. The flip side is this purple paper with some stars on it. Both sides of this look fabulous with this floral print. That's very bold. For me, I would have to use that with lots of white, but they're very pretty together. And this is a little bit more subdued, but they definitely work very nicely together. I really love this one. I love all the colors. I find it a very fun, fun floral print. The flip side are little rainbows, little tiny rainbows, so much more subdued. This one here, a cut apart sheet. This is a different collection. This is from Rainbow Avenue. The designer is Celis Gonzella, Gonzalo, I think. Anyway, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. This is like a little two by two cut apart sheet. And the flip side are these little purple sketchy hearts. And I can see how that would look so nice with this Pebbles Cool Girl collection. Hmm. Interesting. This one here again from Rainbow Avenue. So the background is like a pale pink and there are all these little roses. So kind of a purplish, yellow, pink, coral. Very, very pretty. And the flip side to me that reminds me of a sunset. So these look like watercolor painted lines in a gradient of colors from yellow to peach down to orange. This again from Rainbow Avenue, a cut apart sheet. So you have a variety here. You have a bunch of tags. You have banners in different sizes. Here are 12 inch strips. So that could be a lot of fun and very useful. And the flip side, this is hands down my favorite of the two sides. I love a ledger paper. This one here is pink with little purple lines. Again, it works really well with this cool girl collection. What I love about this ledger is that the lines are not too far spaced apart. Um, I love ledger papers, but when the lines are too far apart, I find my writing looks messy. So I really love that. It's also great for a background paper. Now I'm changing collections. This is Poppy and Pear and the rest of the papers are all going to be from Poppy and Pear and the designer is B. Valent and I may be mispronouncing the name as well. So this is really fun. All of these houses, I find this kind of paper challenging to work with but very very fun. I think I will challenge myself to use it this month and it almost looks like a Maggie Holmes paper. So there's a lots of fun colors here. It's probably all the colors in the collection. And the flip side is this pale mauve with little white flowers. Here's another multicolored one from the Poppy and Pear collection. So this one is a bunch of trees. The background almost looks like a little bit creamy, almost an off-white. 
And the flip side is a pink tone on tone dot. I love this. For me, papers like this are extremely useful in a collection. It's just makes it possible for me to use these prints that I find more difficult to use, that I love, but I find more difficult to use. So I love that one. Here's another one, a cut apart sheet. I really love this one as well. I love the variety and color with it. I love cut apart sheets for embellishing as well. Ooh, I love the flip side as well. This is all still from Poppy and Pear. I think I mentioned it earlier. The rest of the papers are all from Poppy and Pear. This is like a little checkered print and I love the multi colors. It's like yellow and mustard and pink and almost like a pinkish purple. Very, very pretty. I love both sides of this one. This one here is very pretty. It's like a minty, almost pale aqua background. I'm not quite sure. Maybe a bit gray, but probably more on the minty side. And the florals are very pretty. They're like pink, purple, and blues. They all fall within an analogous color scheme. I absolutely love that. I also love the flip side because I love B-sides. I love tone on tone. And if I look at those two together, they're very, very nice. I will probably use both sides of this paper. Here's another one, very cute with all these little pairs. It basically has more or less the same color background, a little bit darker, but it's kind of like um, a minty aqua there. Very pretty. And the flip side is this yellow and white herringbone print. Again, a very useful paper. For me, I can see how both would work together. I will probably be using both sides of these. Here's another one, it's kind of a creamy off-white with black sketchy drawn flowers and leaves. The flip side is a black and white, almost a loose herringbone. I'm gonna find this one very useful. I do like pops of black in a collection. And here's the last paper. So this one is a floral print and it looks like the flowers and leaves are almost embroidered on. Very, very pretty. And the flip side, I love this. So you can see there are three different rows of stripes, but what I love about it is that the stripes don't match up. Hmm. I really find that a fun, fun paper. Okay, so that is the pattern paper. And again, I don't have the add-on. What I'm going to do right now, just I'm taking an executive decision here. Before showing you the embellishments for the main kit, I am going to show you the cardstock add-on. Because for me, in order to use all of these beautiful prints. I need B-sides, so I'll be using both sides, but I also need cardstock. That's just the way I scrapbook. So I am going to show you the cardstock that comes with this, and then I'm actually going to display it all out on the table before I continue. So the cardstock add-on comes with eight different pieces of cardstock in four colors, so two of each. And they're basically neutrals except for this blue. And I love neutrals. So this one is Coconut Swirl from Basil. This one is called Stardust from Basil. So it's like a pale gray. This one is called Sandbox, again, from Basil. And it's got these embossed little polka dots on it. And the final blue one here, again, from Basil is Huckleberry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is turn off my camera. I am going to spread out all of these papers. Then I'm going to show you the embellishments from the main kit. So I'm back with all of my papers spanned out and I've interspersed the cardstock as well. The papers that I put face side up are the ones that I'm probably most likely to use. So now I want to show you the embellishments for the main kit. So this kit comes with an Thickers pack, some alphas from the Cool Girl collection. These are really pretty. They're pink and they've got gray sketchy lines on the outside. There are numbers as well. I'm a big fan of straight fonts, so I really, really love that. 
Um, this one here is a Thicker's Phrase Pack called Sending Love. And again, this is from the Rainbow Avenue collection. You can see how this works so nicely with the Poppy and Pear collection as well. If I look at that word together, it's like the same kind of periwinkle blue there. I absolutely love it. These two collections, the um, uh, Poppy and Pear along with Rainbow Avenue really use the same colors. I'm actually quite thrilled to be able to have a sampling of both of these collections without having to get both of the collections. In addition to that, there is an Enamels Dots pack. This is from Simple Stories from the Life and Bloom collection. These are glitter dots, and I can see the colors go very, very well. You've got like uh, yellow and green here, very nice. The pinks and purples obviously look very well, along with, yeah, so very, very nice. Even the teal up here with those funky florals look really, really nice. In addition to that, there is, let me just put this off to the side right now. There is an ephemera pack. This is from the Poppy and Pear collection. It looks like it's the journal bits and pieces. It just says ephemera. There are 72 pieces here and I'll do a quick flip through with them. I'm just gonna dump them out on this tray. And I'm actually going to put them away how I will be storing them for the month. I have this tray handy here, which is what I stored my kit in last month and it worked really well. Just a quick review. This is a basket that measures 11 by 14 that I got at the dollar store. And in it, I have two refrigerator bins, again, from the dollar store that are divided. And I also have these little iris containers which is what I was storing my ephemera in and it worked really, really well. So back to the ephemera from the Poppy and Pear collection. Um, this has a variety of pieces from cardstock pieces to, that's a vellum piece. So there's a bunch of both of them in here. And this one looks like it's the, um, I think I mentioned it just a moment ago, the journaling bits and pieces. There's a few icons in here, but a lot of kind of squared off pieces and some words as well. So I really like that. Some of these you can pop out the middles. This is a little Polaroid frame. You can pop out the middles and inside here, there are little paper clips along with a little clip as well some labels. Some of these you can pop them out. I'm going to leave them in there. I've been seeing that a lot lately and I find it a great idea because first of all they pop out well because I don't like little white balls on my ephemera pieces and that doesn't seem to be a problem. But I like how it protects some of the pieces because sometimes when you're playing around with your ephemera when you're in creating layouts they can kind of get banged up. So when they're in these little protective edging with cardstock. It sort of protects them a little bit. Dream Big, that's actually the inspiration for the name of this entire collection for the month of March. More banners, again, pop these out. Little paint strips with different colors, tags. Ooh, I like that. The little florals are in the paper. This is a vellum bow, Polaroid camera tags. Anyway, you get the idea. So there's a variety of sizes from small to, I would say, medium pieces here. There's nothing overly huge, but nice size pieces. Some tags. Anyway, so all of this is going to go in my little iris container here. And I'm just going to put that in my basket. And this I will save because number one, it gives me a guide of what is actually in the ephemera pack. But number two, at the end of the month when I'm finished creating with the kit, if I have leftovers, I'm just going to put it back in here. And finally, for the main kit, there were little bits and bobs. I'm going to store them in a little baggie. There are um, these little wood veneer hearts in various sizes, super cute. There are some tickets in the gray colors. Also some smaller tickets, yellow, some pinkish stamps, and a little bit of twine. Very, very fun for the tags. So what I'm gonna do with all of this right now is I am going to just quickly 
tuck it away because this is how I will be storing my kit for the month. It just makes it like a grab and go basket ready to go. So you can see in my basket as well, I've got this piece of cardstock. It's because it's where I plan to store my papers. So that's going to go in here. The smaller embellishment packs are going to go in the front part of this little divided refrigerator bin along with the um, empty packaging. So all of that's going to go in here. And just for the fun of it, I am going to grab up my papers and put it in my basket here. So this is going to be ready to go. All right, I'll be back in a moment with the embellishment add-on. So here I am with the embellishment add-on. So this comes with four embellishment packs along with some partial embellishment packs and I will show you everything that's in here. I will get out my little tray again and I'm going to get out my basket. So I'm going to continue filling this up. So there is a puffy sticker pack, really, really cute. This is from Poppy and Pear. This is full of little animals and other things as well, like flowers and teacups and coffee pots. There's two cute little kitty cats here. There's also a little dog, another dog, kind of a hedgehog or porcupine. I'm not quite sure what that is. Really, really sweet. So, hmm, yes, perfect. That is going to fit right in my embellishment area here. Here's another little alpha pack. These are Puppy Circle Alphas from Pebbles. I'm assuming the Cool Girl Collection. Yes, from the Cool Girl Collection. Very, very cute. So I'm going to put those in here as well. There's a little pack of bows. Oh, these are really cute from Rainbow Avenue. These are felt bows. So they are puffy a little bit, but not too thick. Very, very cute. So I'm going to put those in here as well, just out of curiosity. This is not from the same collection. This is from the Cool Girl collection, but they look very, very nice with that. Anyway, the colors in this collection coordinate very, very well. Also, I'm going to show you the ephemera pack. Again, this is from Poppy and Pear. This one here appears to be more icons. So there's 70 pieces in this pack. I am going to take them out, dump them on my tray here, and I'll get out another one of those little iris containers so that I can store them away. So there's the packaging. I'm going to just put it in my little arrangement here. I have an empty iris container and we'll put them in together. Oh, very cute. A little truck with flowers, special delivery. There's a coffee cup with a hand. Some little pens and pencils to pop out. More things to pop out. Sewing and thread. Another hand with a pear. Some white and gold flowers and leaves. Ooh, I love this. That's a lovely, lovely ephemera piece. I love florals. Um, a little embroidery flower. A camping light. Wow, I don't know if I could use that. Um, a little dog with a scarf. Very cute. More flowers. These you pop out. A pair of scissors. Those are Absolutely adorable. You can pop out those little circles. I'm not going to do it right away. Another flower. More of these hands. There seems to be, hands seem to be a thing these days. More flowers. Ooh, a vellum tree. So this one has vellum packs as well. Oh, here are these houses. I really, I really do love them. They're actually not houses. This one is a bookstore, tea shop, and the office, a post office. Very cute. Embroidery hoops, embroidery hoops white and gold flowers, a teapot that I love. You can also pop that out as well. I'm going to wait the little spot between the handle. Yellow flowers, gold. Ooh, this chair. Again, there's an area here you can pop out, but I'm going to keep it in there to save the legs for the time being. Tree that's in vellum, a kitty cat. 
always and forever. That's in vellum, as is this tree. I particularly love the floras, florals. I especially love that there's no white lines around them. Really, really nice. Another embroidery hoop, some more flowers, some more vellum leaves. Very, very nice. So I am going to put all of this in here, starting to fill up. Here are the two partial packs. These are paper clips. These are from the Poppy and Pear collection. Really, really cute. Now I keep bringing out this paper from Pebbles, a complete different collection, but my gosh, the colors work very, very nicely with it. I'm bringing it out because it's the first one that is in my um, little uh, kit caddy here. Anyway, very, very nice. So these, I guess I'm, there's this one here, it's like a tassel. This would be great to make a little mini album. Last month I made a few mini albums, tag books for Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll make one for Easter or something. Anyway, that's really cute, a heart, and that's like a wooden veneer heart. Very nice. Now the final add-on I'm going to show you is the mixed media add-on and I am not a mixed media person you probably know that but this is absolutely gorgeous this is from Prima and it's called metallic accents so here is the paper I mean the paper the paint really pretty and you can see the metallic accents this add-on the mixed media add-on comes with a little fanned out brush here this brush is from a Royal. I know absolutely nothing about mixed media. Every once in a while I play with it and it is a challenge I will give to myself this month. This little paint set comes with a little paint brush as well. There seems to be like a, a mixing tray over here as well. And in it there are two tags with watercolor paper along with some reinforcers. I did take the opportunity to play with these paints because I'm a curious person and what I did was I just stamped out these flowers with stays on ink. Um, obviously I didn't take the time to paint in the lines. I just wanted to have an idea of what these colors look like. So that's what I'm showing you right here. Um, I guess that's purple, the pink and the blue. Those are the first three. Then this one here is that gray at the bottom. That's the green. I kept going outside the lines because I thought I had cross-contaminated. Anyway, I think that's the true color. You're going to see I did another one of those later on. And that is this kind of teal color. Um, here, there's like a coppery, a yellow, and that's this orangey color. They are kind of coppery and gold. Very pretty, actually. And... That is these two here. So this is the reddish one and this is the orangey one. And there is that green that I did again because I was convinced I did it wrong. And finally for the white one, because I couldn't make it show up on the white paper, I just did it on black cardstock. So that's what it looks like. Anyway, I will save that. That will just be a little guide for me of what this is going to look like. So what I guess I'll do with that is quite literally stick it in my kit caddy for the month and these come in a little baggy so I am going to put it here. The only thing I have left to show you is the newsletter here. So every time the kit comes with a newsletter, mine's extra big because this was sent out early to me which is why this isn't actually filled in. I'm doing this video a few weeks before the beginning of March. I'm doing it about mid-February. So basically here, there's a picture of the kit and Tracy, the kit owner, writes a little bit about what inspired her to create this kit and talks about what's in it. In addition to that, this is my favorite part of it, there is a color palette. And in here, there are samples of colors. And what I like to do with that is go through my inks and find the closest colors. Now, I didn't have all of them, but here is what I found. So I have Soft Succulent from Stampin' Up, Just Jade from Stampin' Up, 
This is blueberry bushel. Now, believe it or not, I'll show you a chart in a minute that I made, but that is the closest I found to it. When I stamp a few times, it actually works. Here is delightful Dijon, and this is moody mauve. But I find for both of those, those work well. So I didn't have all of the colors in my stash, but I do have some of them. And I'm just going to store them with my kit. I did the very same thing last month and that worked very, very well for me. And what I did with the inks is I just tested them out and that gives me an idea of the color. So I stamped once, second time without re-inking and then a third time and that gives me the gradient of the color so I am going to store that with my kit. In addition to that there is a little community corner almost like a newsletter and in here there are some of our Facebook community and their samples of layouts Beautiful, beautiful pages by Tara Van Morsel and this one here, Stephanie Ching Mahoney. Absolutely beautiful layout. So they are featured in the community corner. Here is a kit planning tool. Again, I just got this, so I just started filling it out. But in here, you can talk about the products that speak to you. I just listed a few stories that I want to tell this month. You can also write a list of the um, stories, or I should say photos, that you want to take or find. Here are some techniques you want to try this month. And finally, some tools you might want to add from your stash, tools or items from your stash, and ephemera to support your stories. Here is an area where you can sketch some designs. I haven't done that yet. And also an area where you can jot a few notes for journaling. And finally, this is the sketch challenge for the month, which can be found on our Facebook group. And this sketch for this month was actually designed specifically for the Mercy Tierra kits by Christine Davidson from Creative Scrappers. So that is it. I cannot wait to get started. So here it is, dream big, all organized and ready to go. I have some ideas already and hopefully I will post my first process video next Tuesday, March 5th. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Scrapbooking Quebec, I would be thrilled and honored if you did. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very, very much. Check out Mercy Tierra Kits for the Dream Big Kit and much, much more. Links are below. These kits are fantastic. Take care, and I'm going to be back tomorrow with some more scrappy plans for March. Bye-bye.